thought it was a really strong autumn campaign for the guys. You know, the, uh, the first two games obviously set them in good stead to go out and play New Zealand. I think in the last game they put themselves in a position to win it. And they, they well know that they, they gave up two crucial pieces of possession on their ball, which cost them the game uh, in effect. So they're in a great position. You know, if the World Cup was, was this year, would they win it? Probably not. You know. But they've got another year and a half to, to get ready for a campaign now, which will be on there. You know, in our shores, pretty much every game England will play will be at Twickenham. So there's a great opportunity to do something special. Can this team do it? I suppose time will tell. They're certainly, uh, they're certainly putting themselves in a good place to do it. No, I think England have closed the gap. <clears throat> you know, we know this New Zealand team. I think the, the great thing about the autumn was that a lot of guys playing for England that don't always have the opportunity did get the opportunity to play they now realise that New Zealand aren't invincible they're all just blokes that if you tackle them they fall over and you know one thing that New Zealand are however is clinical and if you give them a piece of possession then they will take it and uh, for England it's just about those small margins and making sure that they can, uh, they, can they can keep those errors to a minimum and, uh, and really be clinical when they have the opportunities Just the sheer number of games, I spoke about it with some of the other guys. I think when you have a lot of teams, so Wales, New Zealand, Ireland, you know, they have central, uh, sorry, Ireland and, uh, and New Zealand do, I don't, I can't remember if Wales do now, but they have central contracts and you look at the number of uh, centurions that they have in their, in their sides, you know, and the Southern Hemisphere teams, because they play less club matches, they just have the Super 15, they sort of decide whether they go and play in the NPC or whatever the variation of it is now. So. For me, you know, the Premiership guys play a huge number of club games, and uh, and that's the difference. I think he's got a good understanding of what his uh, forward pack will be. I think at the moment he's a number of guys have stepped up. That will change anyway over the course of a year. And we'll look back to 2003, Josh Lucy wasn't even in the squad until the 2003 Six Nations. So then he was starting in, in a World Cup final. So there'll be a number of positional changes I think the backs will see probably the most uh, the most changes but he's 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 almost there now I think in terms of his squad there'll be a few players that he will he would chop and change due to form or injury but uh, but he's getting there I think he's getting closer and closer with every game I think as a player, especially when you retire, you know, you realise how much a sport gave you and rugby gave me a huge amount, you know, in terms of life skills and, uh, and, and in terms of a career. So to be able to have the opportunity to give back you know, in a little way is, uh, is really why I've become a part of this. You know, it's such a, such a wonderful campaign in terms of getting young people, you know, 11 to 19 year olds, maybe they've become disenfranchised with various different things, they've become disconnected with education, whatever it is, using rugby as a tool to help them refocus and, uh, and get them back into whatever walk of life it is that they've stepped out of. And they're just that life skills that rugby teaches you, the values that I think this game teaches you. You know, you look at um, discipline, respect, you know, enjoyment, sportsmanship, all, all the key values that this sport is, is well known for and I think you know we can learn a huge amount from it. When you play the game and it has given you so much you want to really be able to give back and finding a way to do that in this campaign you know through through uh, through hits, through Land Rover, through the guys that have, that have got on board at the campaign itself to take it to the next level, you know. So it's now in 12 Premiership clubs, you know. Otherwise, it, it would have. We don't know where where it may well be now. So we're to be a part of it is just, you know, a fantastic opportunity for me. Maybe it's not always that the guys that come into these hits programs are going to then go on and have rugby careers but if we find one person through this campaign that would be wonderful but you know for me it's more important than that is getting these guys you know into education into jobs you know whether it's using the facilities that the, that the new partners uh, are bringing you know getting kids job opportunities you know or apprenticeships whatever it is you know there's there's just something special about this campaign and the guys that drive it the mentors that have been behind it for the last three or four years you know Helen and the various names that are, that are behind it, so it's uh, it's a great campaign.